As Chris mentioned, I will give you a glimpse of the experiences and mindset of the Payatas Football Club, the team which Ronalyn coaches and where some of the players who went to Russia came from. To help me illustrate that, I am going to introduce you to Rico, not a real person. He is 12 years old. He has an open wound because his father physically maltreated him. His mother was in jail and his brother is constantly drunk. He also stopped schooling because he thought that he is not capable of finishing it. In the next few years, Rico can become alcoholic, a drug user, and suffer from heart disease. And possibly his life expectancy will decrease by 20 years. These are the findings of some studies relating childhood trauma to physical and mental health. And this is just Rico. When we tested the 100 football players of the Payatas Football Club, we found that they have an average of three A scores, meaning that they are moderately at risk of developing uh, poor physical and mental health. Given these experiences, we wanted to know how they explained these adversities and discovered that 70% and 51% of them are very pessimistic and have low self-esteem, respectively. This means that potentially they are more likely to get depressed, stay depressed, and relapse. We also tested their risk for depression and 40% of them reported to have felt severely depressed. This study has a lot of limitations and are in no way represent everyone. This is just a glimpse of their lives, a picture of what the 100 football players had experienced or are experiencing. But as Team Philippines have shown, the grim future does not necessarily have to become true because when you show you care, everybody can still win.